I feel like this happens to a lot of people, right? You go into Target and you're you're there on a mission to buy one thing and then you leave with completely unrelated items. Like you go in for laundry detergent and you leave with a new swimsuit. I went in with the intention of buying sunscreen, which I did buy sunscreen, I bought a lot of it actually, and I ended up with a lot of other super fun stuff that I want to show you. As you might have noticed from that picture that was up right at the very beginning of the video, I came home with a lot of stuff. You know how when you first walk in the door they have that section of um, things that are a dog? I usually pick up some really cute thank you cards. Love it. We should be grateful and let people know when they do things for us that we appreciate and that we're thankful for. This is a dress and it's sleeveless and it bunches at the waist. And it's actually, it's a great print and pattern and it's shorter in the front and longer in the back. I think this is supposed to be a swimsuit cover-up. It looks like a giant moo. It's not going to translate well in this video, I can assure you. But I try not to have a favorite color because I love all the colors equally. So this is a pretty sheer um, flowy top and I love the exposed zipper in the back. And I decided that I needed this um, nightgown. This is a three pack for five dollars. Quite the deal are these long necklaces. So I got two. So I got this ivory and gold one. And also, I told you I've been super into orange. The thing I like about these long necklaces is you can stack them up and wear them together. You can also double them up and wear them as a choker. You could wear one short and one long. These necklaces have so many different ways to wear them that they practically paid for themselves. I always like to check out the clearance section. Be careful because sometimes they are pieces that are damaged. This little guy, um, this it was on clearance for $6.48. Yeah, I think that'll make me look tough. And then this one's really fun too. It's a little bit longer and was on clearance for $9.98. Dangly fringy bits. Love it. Okay, so I finally wrapped up my thank you cards, my jewelry, my clothes, and made my way to the beauty section. I started in the bath product. This particular product caught my eye, and this is um, good, and it is a it is a product um, from Burt's Bees. Burt's Bees has really expanded their line. Um, I'm going to add a link to the blog post. So usually I can find um, either like free shipping or some specialty products or some sales, so Check that out, and I will add that to the blog. But um, this is their good body wash. The flavor is called Orange Petalooza, and it smells so good. And their body butter, which I use both of these today, and oh my god, big fan. Okay, so I'm getting a little bit closer to the sunscreen. <laughs> Still haven't gotten it yet. Um, and then I found this Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs, and this is leg makeup. Not, I always thought it was a sunless tanner, but it's actually leg makeup. And you spray this into your hand, and it's like a foam, and then you rub it onto your legs, and it comes off immediately like in the shower. Um, so this is great for you to apply, and you can see instant results. I wasn't 100% sure, so I bought some. I applied it to one leg, and then I took a picture like 10 seconds later. Um, I'm going to post the picture on the link and at the end of this blog post as well. It's my legs, and I just applied it to one leg, and then, so one leg has the airbrush legs makeup on it, and one leg does not. I can't believe I'm going to post it <laughs> and show you what my legs actually look like. And I'm just going to put it all out there. So, I love this. I thought it was really beautiful. I got a little nervous that it was going to stain my hands, um, but I just washed with soap and water, and they it came right off. So, love that. Then, still no sunscreen. I wanted to do a tutorial for you guys on layering eyeshadow with a gel or cream liner followed by a powder eyeshadow. I picked up this e.l.f. and I thought it was a cream liner, but it's actually a cream shadow. I'm actually wearing it right now um, as a liner. I didn't realize until I put it up to the camera that it's definitely an eyeshadow. Um, but it's really creamy and soft and really easy to apply and it stayed pretty well. It's only $3. I don't know if you've ever tried any e.l.f. products. I'm going to put a link into the blog post. Um, they sell the e.l.f. products at Target, but their website has so much more. So 
I love their brushes a lot, their brush cleaner. I have their brush bell. All their tools are really great. So I'm going to put a link into here a lot of times. I can also get find links for free shipping and things like that to e.l.f. So finally, we're going to get to the sunscreen. So first I got this um, SPF 50 for sensitive skin. Um, and I got this for my husband because he runs outside a lot too. And he is a big fan of copper tone. It's really important when you are shopping for sunscreen, please make sure that it says broad spectrum, that it protects from UVA and UVB rays. This is so, so, so important. So that is for the husband. Now this is really what I went in there for, for me. Cause like I said, I've been running outside a lot too. So this is Neutrogena's Age Shield um, in SPF 70. I I think the baseline minimum is 30 for under your makeup and 70, 50 or 70 if you're going to be outside um, for long periods of time and if you're going to be active. This is also a broad spectrum sunscreen. It's oil free and fra fragrance free, which is important to me. So yes to blueberries. Like I said, I think 30 really is the baseline. A portion of proceeds from all of their products go toward yes to seed fund which gives kids fun and engaging ways to connect with Mother Nature, teaching them to lead healthier lifestyles. After all that, I did come home with three kinds of sunscreen and a whole lot of other stuff too. Love, love, love the airbrush legs. So yes, let me know if you've tried any of these products. Share your Target haul stories, how you went in for toilet paper and came out with a new set of stationery or whatever. But that is my trip to Target. I don't think I'm going to be allowed to go back in there until sometime in the fall. And um, I will share my next shopping experience with you. Enjoy your spring. Enjoy the sunshine. Add lots of color to your wardrobe because it's really fun. And let me know what you're most excited about for spring. Thanks.